Okay, I'm going to try and make a, a quick little recipe here out of some uh, leftovers. I had some leftover tater tots, onion rings, and uh, jalapeno cheese poppers from Sonic the other day. Well, two days ago. And they've been sitting in the fridge. And, uh, of course, none of that stuff tastes good cold, even if you heat it up in the microwave. It's not very good. So what I'm going to do is cheat a little bit and use them as uh, ingredients. And uh, I'm going to bake them. And I'm going to use some, uh, some beefaroni here. And I'm going to add a little uh, cheese on top. And then uh, if I've got room, I may add some other ingredients. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. So all I did was break them up, mix them up in the bottom here. And I'm going to go ahead and just pour this stuff in. And uh, I'll spread it around and put the cheese on top. And then I'm going to bake it at uh, oh, 350 degrees for at least a half hour. And uh, we'll see what happens. If it needs more, I'll bake it a little more. It won't hurt it at all. Okay, got her out of the oven here, and uh, you can see the uh, the French fried onions are slightly toasted. Uh, I had it at 350 to start, and I could see that they were browning up pretty quick after just like five minutes, so I knocked it down to 300 degrees. Everybody's oven's different. I've got a pretty uh, new modern one, and... Uh, so it might have been just a little bit too much heat too quickly. So like I say, I knocked it down. I did it for 30 minutes and uh, took her out. And so now I'm going to go ahead and and uh, slice it up here. And we'll see what it looks like. This is kind of difficult to do holding the phone. but Now this isn't going to be some fancy casserole or anything. It's just basic food that's been heated up if I did it a little bit longer it would probably have less moisture from the uh, tomato sauce that came with the beefaroni let's get some out of here but looks like it held it together pretty good okay now the taste test Here's some some onion ring here and some some tater tot and uh, uh, looks like the uh, uh, moisture got to it and broke it up so it'll be easier to eat. Mmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. So instead of a stale tater tot and uh, stale, not crunchy uh, onion rings. I got the onion ring flavor because of the the slice of onion in it, along with the beefaroni and everything. Get some meat along with it, and then I got the tang of that uh, jalapeno uh, French fried onions. So pretty good. Hey, it, it took what five minutes or less to prepare and thirty minutes to make in the oven, and I let it cool just three or four minutes really. So. Uh, Easy stuff to do. What's great about bacon stuff, guys, is you can change out the ingredients. Use ravioli instead of beefaroni. Uh, canned spaghetti, whatever you got. Uh, add some vegetables in or some mushrooms, something like that. You can get creative, and as long as it fits, as long as it fits in this, uh, I use a piece of corning ware, but as long as it fits in the uh, container, hey, you don't want it all the way up to the top and bubbling over, making a mess in your oven. So anyway, that was a quick little recipe. I don't call it anything. It's just what it is. Take it, throw a, a can of beefaroni and some, some stale stuff. French fries, onion rings, tater tots, whatever you got. Okay, thanks for watching.